guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map according to RealClearPolling.com. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. In the Electoral College, the top battlegrounds, Trump leads Kamala Harris at one point. He has 48.5% to her 47.5%, a one-point lead over her. According to the RCP average, Real Clear Polling average, the NBC News has them tied. The New York Post has them tied. TIPP polling has Trump at plus one. Emerson College has them tied. ABC slash IPSOS has Harris at plus three. Atlas Intel polling has Trump at plus two. Yahoo has Harris plus one. M Consultation has Harris at plus two. Forbes or four Bs has Harris at plus two. Rasmussen has Trump at plus two. CBS News, their own independent poll, has Harris at plus one. NYT, New York Times slash Siena, has them tied. CNN, shockingly, has them tied. Wall Street Journal has Trump plus three. CNBC has Trump plus two. USA Today has Harris plus one. And Fox News has Trump plus two. That is all the polls besides the Silver Bulletin and a few others. Let's fill in that beautiful election map according to RealClearPolling.com. As always, we have the blue states, which are for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. Washington, Oregon, California, Hawaii, Colorado, New Mexico, parts of Nebraska, Minnesota, Illinois, Virginia, New York, parts of Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Maryland, and D.C. are all blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. The reds, as always, are for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. Those states are Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Alaska, North Dakota, South Dakota, most of Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, South Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, Ohio, Indiana, and the second district of Maine are red for Donald J. Trump. States that they are most likely to win, or parts of states that they are most likely to win. That leaves the remaining battleground slash swing states. Those are Nevada with six electoral votes, Arizona with 11 electoral votes, Wisconsin with 10 electoral votes, Michigan with 15 electoral votes, Pennsylvania with 19 electoral votes, North Carolina with 16 electoral votes, Georgia with 16 electoral votes. Let's go to the polls done by Real Clear Polling. First up, Nevada with a 1.0 lead is Donald J. Trump making Nevada red. Now, it is Kamala Harris's 226 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump's 225. Next up, we have Arizona, and Arizona has 11 electoral votes. According to RealClearPolling.com, with 2.6 lead, Trump wins Arizona, making it red for Donald J. Trump. Wisconsin has 10 electoral votes. According to RealClearPolling.com, with a 0.3 lead, Kamala Harris wins Wisconsin, grabbing her those 10 electoral votes. Kamala Harris, 236 electoral votes. To Donald J. Trump's, 236 electoral votes. A total and complete tie. Who will win this election? Michigan, with 15 electoral votes. And a 0.8 lead. Kamala Harris wins Michigan, making it blue having her take the lead. Georgia with 16 electoral votes and a 2.0 lead. Donald J. Trump wins Georgia and it's 16 electoral votes, making it red. 251 electoral votes for Kamala Harris to 252 
electoral votes for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina with 16 electoral votes and a 1.5 lead in the polls. Donald Trump turns North Carolina red. 268 to 251. Whoever wins Pennsylvania and pulls ballot boxes and suitcases out from under the table and scans the same one three, four, five, and six times for Joe Biden. Sorry about that. Ooh, my bad. I had to cough. Wins the election if they win Pennsylvania. The 19 electoral votes and a 0.3 lead in the state. According to RealClearPolling.com, Trump wins Pennsylvania, giving him 287 electoral votes to Kamala Harris's 251. How does this make you all feel? Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Get the word out there. As always, I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out. Electorally voted out.